what's the crack lads are you gonna be spinning on monday because we've got the dutch trio i don't know what to make of these lads these cards are going to be in game honestly roy card Hollid, and van basten they are loaded up in the database now look i already have these cards man right we're going to take a look at the database in a second right i already have these cards the single boosters right let me just hide my webcam here a sec Van Basten, Hullet, and Rijkaard, right? Just bear that in mind because he's got 33 levels as a CB. Hullet, 35 levels, one of the most unique cards in the game. And of course, we've got Marco Van Basten as well with 31 levels there, right? But they have been added to the database. We have them here as well. And we're going to be taking a look at these stats. Now, I usually do a What's Coming Monday video, but everybody's been asking me about this Dutch trio pack, and this is going to be it here, right? So on the database at the time, for the time being, they have a level 28 here, for Hullet, you've got 28 levels on Rijkaard, and Van Basten has got 32 levels. I reckon that Rijkaard and Hullet will easily have at least 31 levels. These are going to be the end of all endgame uh, cards. Hullet is a whole player. He's going to have a skill booster here, which is going to be the technique plus one, or plus two, sorry. If we give him, say, with the Champs, right, his overall SS build is going to be 102 without really training him up too much, right? Now, obviously, we don't need to go this high with him. I would probably make a couple of alterations here to his card. You can still get 85 finishing. You can still get a lot of strength in him. He's looking like an absolute beast. And to be honest with you, if this build is where it is here, we're going to have another six points, which is going to mean that we'll be able to get his speed up to 90, his acceleration to 90, his balance to 85, his physical contact to 92, his jump at 90, his kicking power at 90, it's going to be an insanely broken, broken, broken card. Plus, he's tall, he's strong, and his skills, right? Let's not even talk about his skills, because he will have visionary pass. Now, listen, I'm not in the business of hyping up players, lads, honestly. You know, I, I, I don't mind if people spin or not. I mean, it's up to everybody. Some people can afford to spin, some people can't. But when people ask me about these cards, I have to give my honest opinion. And Hullet will be 100% broken in the game. There's just no doubt about it. He's too unique. He's too strong, fast, agile for a player this height and, uh, and strength. So that is going to be whole player Rude Hullet. And he's also going to have probably about another maybe six points to mess around with here. So it is going to be a very, very nice card, right? I know a lot of people have been asking me about it. Right card is probably going to be even better, right? This right card is down as a center back. The other card was an anchorman, which can be a bit of a concern when you're playing him as a CB. But he can also play in that defensive midfielder role or center midfielder role. And again, he's going to have the dueling plus two. If we give him with the champs and give him the manager boost, he's going to be 104 overall. And even at that, we can still get this build a little bit better, I think, if we kind of tweak it a little bit. He's going to have all his defensive stats insanely high. He's going to have all of these stats really, really nice. And even if you don't want to give him any passing, you can nearly get his uh, overall speed at the 90 zone and that's not even including his dexterity or the dribbling if you just want to keep him as a ball to the wall defender and of course boys he's going to have another few levels there goes my airpods he's going to have another few levels on him here like he's going to have at least 31 levels right so yeah it's going to be a beastly card and then last but not least we have marco van basten with the 32 levels and if we're giving him a booster here of the new patrick vieira it looks like a very decent card as well 104 overall obviously you're going to have max out shooting even if you just want 98 shooting to have that tie there as well with the curl i obviously i obviously just prefer 90 shooting and you can make this card very very nice the biggest problem with van basten here lads is going to be his pace uh, and what I mean by that is that it's going to be his dexterity. Even with the double booster, you're not going to get that balance up over 80. So that's going to be a bit of a concern with him compared to the likes of Berbatov and players like that. But still, it'll be a good finisher. But it is going to be interesting, man. I think the only other pack that is going to really excite is going to be the MSN. Um, but obviously, the gameplay needs to be improved. And there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen in the game content-wise. But as I said, boys, I can only cover what we can cover, man. And that is going to be... Uh, the Dutch pack that we see there so let me know if you're hyped for it let me know if you're not let me know if you're going to wait for MSN that's just a quick preview of what's coming Monday don't forget to subscribe and I'll chat you in a bit peace